Hello guys! In this brief video, I will download, install and first run Autodesk Civil 3D 2024. As you see, I currently have installed AutoCAD 2024 already, but you don't need to install it separately. AutoCAD will be installed with Civil 3D anyway. The easiest way to get installation files are from autodesk.com slash civil 3d and from here i can just click download free trial if i do it i can select what kind of user i am or plan to be because at the moment i just want to have a trial product i just click business then i hit next i do need to have autodesk account if i don't have it i can create one it's free to create one and this doesn't say anything about activation yet you just need to have autodesk account ready to be able to start your trial as well. So because I do have my Autodesk account already created, I just simply log in password as well. Now I need to input some additional data, anything works, just select some values in here and hit next, company information, next again. And now this screen is quite important because you do have two different options how you can download and start the installation. This default install, if I select this arrow, this default install means that um, you just download a small amount of installation files and during installation some additional data will be downloaded to some default location. I usually prefer download option because then I download all my files to my designation location and I can fire up installation at any time. Also, I can easily move those files to my portable drive and maybe install the product to different machines as well. So my preference is download, but of course this download procedure will take probably a bit more time because um, you need to download, you need to extract and as such. But we will walk you through, so no worries. Download. Pay attention to that if you click on this download, you start downloading those installation files through your browser. And your browser should allow several pop-ups. For example, I have Save As dialog automatically popped up. And uh, this says that this is my second file of all my installation files. Those Save As dialogs can be presented in any order. You just need to download those into a single location. For example, I create a new folder, Civil 3D. I maybe copy this location. And now I carefully keep the same name as it is in here. I hit save, so second file. Now I see first file, save again. And now I see third file, save again. Three files will be downloaded and download size is about five gigabytes. So two gigabyte limit for one file. Once those files are downloaded, I then extract and start installation. So let's wait a bit. Just some more seconds to go. Now this was just a download. I now go to my download location and in here I can see also three files and I have to extract to get my installation files ready. So I just double click on this number one out of three. I then select the location into where I want to copy my installation files. This is not yet installation itself. And that is why I just select this same location, change. I hit OK. And all my files or installation files are now extracted. You can see it's about seven gigabytes just installation files. So you do need to have some space, free space ready, but those files can be moved also to portable drive, to network drive. So let's wait once my extraction is finished. I should get automatically installation screen, but I can also fire it up at later time from this folder. I will show you just in a moment. We are finished quite soon. And now installation screen should fire up and Windows asks to allow 
to fire up this exe file, you have to select yes. And now my installation screen will get ready. So it takes a bit more time. If you select install directly from the website, you will get installation screen a lot quicker. But during installation, you start to download those files and altogether maybe it takes similar amount of time. So you have to agree with the license, hit next, and then you can select location. I usually keep the default location. And because I do have AutoCAD already installed, I can't change it anymore. I hit next. I can select some additional components. Of course, I do want to have SubAssembly Composer as well. If you're a current Civil 3D user, then you do know what it is. But of course, if you are not, you can still select it and then install. This installation can be fired up at later stage as well from this location. Yeah, so setup.exe and this yellow folder can be moved to portable drive. You don't need any more of those exe files. Those are safe to delete. You just need to have this yellow folder to be able to install Civil 3D, for example, into different machine. Because AutoCAD is already installed, the installation of Civil 3D will be a bit quicker. So let's wait once this is finished. You can see that Civil 3D icons are already at my desktop. You usually get two icons, one for US user or Imperial user and one for metric user, metric. I'm metric user, so I will use definitely this metric icon. I don't need to have this Imperial. I can remove it or delete it. And I can also find those icons from my start menu, of course, as well. So you don't need to keep those icons at your desktop. So installation will continue, but uh, I can already start the product. But let's, let's wait those additional seconds once I see finish button. I click finish and now I can fire up my Civil 3D first time. You may see a screen that says you have to restart your computer. Please do so, especially when Civil 3D 2024 is the first product of 2024 series, so you don't have AutoCAD installed beforehand, you might need to restart because I already installed AutoCAD and I did a restart, then I don't need to do that right now. And I just double click on this metric icon because once again, I'm metric user. And let's see how Civil 3D 2024 looks like. Please note that uh, if you haven't installed AutoCAD separately in where you logged in and uh, you stated that you want to start a trial, you have to log in with the same Autodesk account as you used for downloading. Because I'm currently already logged in, I simply get this marketing screen directly. You just can't start a product without logging in, even if you want to test it. So you need to log in and then you get this marketing screen. You can simply close this. You can come back to this screen from this top right corner. If you want to activate, for example, your product, I close it again. And let's simply start a new drawing in Civil 3D 2024. You can do that from several locations. For example, this white icon, new. You can also click on this red button, new. But you can also select new from this start screen. So this is your current kind of desktop in Civil 3D. So you click new and then you can browse template. Each Civil 3D drawing is based on some template. Templates are with extension TWT, yes. If I'm a metric user, I select ACAD ISO. Or if I want to start Civil 3D drawing, then I select Civil 3D. So inside Civil 3D, you can simply work just as with AutoCAD as well. Currently, I'm interested about Civil 3D drawing, so I will select metric, open. And I'm not opening this file, but I'm generating new file based on this template. Then I can see drawing one or drawing two, drawing three as such. Of course, I can 
save those files as well by simply going to this red icon, save, save as, or I can right click this drawing one and selecting save as. I can see that my drawing version is 2018, so it's still 2018. Don't mess it up with software version, it's 2024. Those mean different things, yeah? And I can simply save it to any location I like. Drawing one, I just hit save. If I want to use my Civil 3D as AutoCAD and I want to see simply AutoCAD user interface or let's say tools, then I can select from this top left corner 3D modeling or drafting and annotation. Drafting annotation is basically AutoCAD 2D user interface and 3D modeling is AutoCAD 3D user interface. You also have AutoCAD map 3D user interface by selecting planning and analysis. So Civil 3D includes AutoCAD but also AutoCAD map tools or tool set. In 2024 I do have already Project Explorer ready. So this is an additional plugin but it is now installed in one go. So you don't have to download it separately and install it separately. Now it's included in your installation. So that's about it. So how to download and install and first run Civil 3D 2024. Happy learning and see you next time. Bye bye.